Well, parents, students, and teachers at the Stockton Unified School District met their new superintendent today. It comes after years of investigations and fraud allegations in the district. As ABC 10's Luke Cleary explains, she faces a challenging road ahead. Stockton Unified School District has been the subject of grand jury investigations and state audits that have shaken confidence here. The new superintendent has her work cut out for her. Tonight, she's making the case that she's the person to turn things around. Stockton is meeting new superintendent, Dr. Michelle Rodriguez. A warm welcome so far from parents. She has her work cut out for her. Yes, she does. <laughs> and teachers. But it looks like she's willing to do it and that's great. Before Rodriguez arrived this month, a state audit found a laundry list of alleged illegal activities at the district in a February report. And last year, a San Joaquin County grand jury investigation revealed poor business practices and a predicted $30 million shortfall by the 2024-25 fiscal year. And we're going to make child children centered decisions. In a presentation, the new superintendent laying out her vision to pull the district through. I'm pretty unique in that I my skill set is in curriculum and instruction, but I also have a, a large skill set in budget. And so it's something that I fixed in PVUSD and now I plan on doing some of that work here. PVUSD. Pajaro Valley Unified School District, where Rodriguez spent the last seven years as superintendent before Stockton brought her on board earlier this month, ending a five-month nationwide search. Well, I believe in the community, I believe in staying put so that we can actually have a sustained impact on children. In her first of many scheduled meet and greets this summer, reactions have been positive. We're having issues with the budget and she understands the budget. You believe she can turn it around? Yes, I do believe that. Actually, each day that I'm here, I'm even more positive and enthused about the work that can happen. So you're not afraid of the challenges? Oh no, my, my, one of my cabinet members said to me, oh, they haven't met you yet. And that was our Luke Clary reporting. A former superintendent, John Ramirez Jr., abruptly resigned from the post days ahead of the scathing grand jury report one year ago.